1 a.m. and uh, it's 11, so I really need to set an alarm. Anyway, anyway, um, I wanted to show you my arm today because it is looking better. So some people were discussing things like, oh, Erica, um, I don't, you know, they don't think it's keto rash. They think it's a fungal infection. Other people think it's, you know, some sort of complication to something. Well, here is my arm today. I haven't moisturized it yet. And uh, if it looks really hard, like there's not really much there, you're right. So it's a little dry. I do need to put something on there. But you can see overall my skin is looking much better. And um, yeah, so I'm going to moisturize it. And um, it's just a little dry. But you can see a lot of the redness is gone. See that? And it looks like it's it's turning better. See? See that? Um... Just a little dryness, but yeah, it's 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 a weird coincidence. I don't know what caused it. Maybe, you know, um, it, it's strange because I know some people had mentioned things like, Erica, you know, it's kind of strange that your arm, of all things, is, um, you know, having issues. And uh, I was talking to um, someone yesterday, and yeah, it looks much better once I moisturize it, but you can see a lot of the redness is away. See? It's looking smoother. I know I have cat hair on here because uh, cat hair is everywhere. But, um, yeah, it's just like I, I just wanted to show you that kind of stuff. Um, and um, I'm feeling less itchy today so far. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, but, yeah. Um, so I've been using uh, this thing over here. Uh, if anybody's in the U.S., yeah, they don't sell this in the U.S. It's actually from Germany. So, um, Libor sent this over, and this is amazing. So, I've just been putting a little bit on my arm uh, when I wake up, when I take a shower. Um, it's it's basically when I leave. It's, it's basically with me all the time. I'm not going to say that this is a cure-all. But what I'm going to say is it works really well at moisturizing. One thing I notice, one thing that I notice though, that I like about this in particular is it doesn't, it seems to absorb so much better than a lotion. So sometimes if you look, you put like a thick layer of anything, it gets, um, it gets kind of crusty, you know? So, but this one, I feel like it absorbs um, well into the skin and I usually put it when I wake up and... When I wake up, yeah, when I take a shower, um, if it's looking a little dry in the day, um, and before I go to sleep, so at least three times a day. And again, um, as Alan said, right, it is not, I did several things at once, so I upped my vitamin D, I upped my zinc intake, I upped my carb intake, and I also, you know, this helped, so... Just, um, I also do oatmeal baths as well. So, um, but what I really think made a difference, and this is just my speculation here, is the carb intake. Because what was happening is, is I was having itchiness on my chest, and that is, um, indicative of keto rash. So, um, my chest, my back, um, like my shoulder blades, um, it was just spreading. And if you guys look at some things that I was showing you guys, right? Some studies so you can see and you guys can look at my previous um, streams you can see how quickly the thing freaking spreads in like two days at some point and when it was starting to spread that's when I tapped out of keto so um, I would and this is just my opinion the only thing I can tell you that I changed significantly within the last couple of days would be the zinc um, I have oh god I forgot what zinc that is um, a little bit of zinc um, vitamin D3, I'm actually taking 5,000 um, IUs a day, and I don't plan to take it like this um, forever. It's just temporarily until my skin recovers, and then I'll do a maintenance of 1,000. Um, but, and then the carb intake. So carb intake, very, very important in my opinion. Um, I just want to stay out of ketosis, that kind of stuff. If you want to be sure, fasting for three days makes the ketone go away and the rash starts. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to really go off uh, keto right now because <laughs> I'm actually just celebrating my arm getting better. Um, so this is just like how it looks like before anything. So if I put a little, and I know I don't have a tripod on me, but you basically scoop a little out, 
And then you rub it on. My skin is still rough, so it still feels like alligator skin. Um, but you know what? I'll take a little bit of roughness over, um, over cracking and oozing and whatnot any day. Um, and I have hope. You know, I hope my skin could recover. Um, what I also found out, and some people are going to think this is a little da 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 is I can't, I found out that I also break out. So I, I was, um, you know, I was going on this whole freaking carb, carb overload over here and, uh, I was eating a bunch of chips. So I ate this, I forgot what it was called. It was like spicy nacho chips and they, they're gluten free, right? So I thought, oh, okay, I'm not going to break out, but I freaking broke out cause it has MSG in it, in my opinion. So let me, yeah. So let's see, see, I broke out over here and I have like a little breakout over there. Um, a little embarrassing but <sighs> so yeah if you guys are eating chips even if it's gluten free you might find out that you are breaking out and um i'm breaking out so yeah i i don't really normally eat spicy nacho chips at all yeah see so this is my arm now you guys can see it's looking so much more normal you can see a little bit of redness see it but it's lighter than it was before, for sure. Um, and uh, I'm happy that it seems like it's resolving itself. Um, at least it's going in a direction that I want it to go, which is sort of the backwards. And um, yeah, so um, anybody who has crappy skin who says like, oh, you know, I don't know why I'm breaking out, look into reducing your chip intake. Um, at least your, your spicy nacho potato chips. I'm not gonna eat that, um, anymore. It's just, normally if I do eat chips, it's, it's, t tends to be tortilla chips. It's not, um, anything with, like, MSG or, like, flavoring on there. I was just, I just wanted to live a little, for sure. Um, I do understand your concern. Definitely, definitely. Um, so, yeah, anonymous, anonymous individual, aka Nick, um, has been really, uh, focused on my arm which I thought was very, very, you know, kind and everything. Um, I, I really hoped it was a fungal infection. It doesn't look like it's a fungal infection, see? but my skin is, looks like it's um, healing up. It is a little bumpy, but through the bumps, the redness is going away. We'll see what happens in uh, next week or so. Um, even with keto ration, that was a level before. Oh. Yeah, I didn't have any problems with my skin, you know, before this rash happened, but I can't live a life where I'm breaking out on my chest and I'm just like feeling like a constant want to scratch it, um, for sure. So some people, some people are okay on keto, you know, some people do better on certain diets, but for me, um, I have to be careful because like I, like I told you guys, right, like Asian, Asian women, <laughs> they said like Asian women in particular, um, maybe just people of Asian descent, they, they seem to have negative, uh, they, they seem to be more prone to keto rash, and, um, I don't, I don't want to be like that, so, yeah, there was that one study where a 43-year-old Chinese woman, she went on a keto diet, cleaner than my keto diet, too, I mean, she had all this, she had a whole variety of things, she went on topicals, that didn't clear things up, she went on antibiotics, that didn't clear things up, um, so she went to a dermatologist to, to resolve it but it didn't go away until she upped her carbohydrate intake and that tells me right what what will that tells me it's not just simply it's you have to find the root of it and i think it seems like with that study as well as me it's just too low carbohydrate not good so i've been uh thinking you know i've been telling people i said yeah you can't you can't get rid of your freaking rice if you're asian because if you take out your rice <laughs> this is what could happen and i wouldn't risk this on anybody so um yeah if you're asian and you suffer if you have like this keto rash kind of thing or some unexplained bumps or whatnot um just look into increasing your carbohydrate intake i have no problem um upping my carb intake it's just that i feel a little bit more padded a little bit more padded um yeah so gosh gosh yeah so um that's my arm and yeah, I wanted to show you some like freaking thing. We'll see how it looks like. Um, I expect it to look better. See, my thinking is is my skin, because it was like super raw. It it looks like it's getting better and better by day. Um, I stopped using the band aid, so yeah, we'll see.
the adhesive, I think I'm really allergic to it. Um, you might not be able to see it, but there was this clear straight line of red dots, which coincided with the line of the adhesive, um, which sucks. I never ever thought like I would get allergic to adhesive for the band-aid, but that's what happened. That's what happened. So this stuff, and um, this is actually really nice. So yeah. Um, but if you guys want to find something similar, it seems like it has argan oil and mango butter and beeswax, and it's a really soft. Um, it's a really soft balm. I don't want to say it's like, it's not like lotion, but it's like, it feels like softened butter. And that's why it just absorbs into the skin real nicely. Am I enjoying your lot time? Um, Lewis actually came back. So he came, um, he, he, he drove to Delaware and Pennsylvania and then he circled back over here. So he's back in New York. Um, and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, most likely, I don't know if he wants to be driving today. Um, but we'll see we'll see um yeah but at least he has a freedom to go out whenever he wants to go out and i think that's very free yeah so yesterday in my stream i was telling you guys like oh i was feeling bad because i wake up late um i woke up late i woke up at i slept at 5 a.m because i just couldn't sleep you guys know the whole situation and then i woke up um at my normal time around like 10 30 11 and then I just was so sleep deprived that I was feeling, you know, you feel tired, your head hurts, that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I, I took a nap and then I just, it just got to me because I thought, man, I fucked up, you know, I fucked up. Um, and yeah, he has a, he has like goals that he wants to do and I, yeah, I couldn't do things with him like if he wants to do something right it's like if I if I don't jump on and do the same thing kind of thing right that could be perceived as holding back and um yeah I was like ah oh, fuck fuck so it pissed me off a little um because it's like I was thinking to myself like yeah Erica you slept late and you never realized like if you sleep late right you're gonna be tired in the afternoon if you take a nap then what happens is is that you throw off the schedule and I didn't really think anything big of a deal you know I thought like okay you know I'm gonna take a nap from two to three and then maybe we leave at four but yeah rush hour traffic and kind of stuff and yeah when he wants to do something he'll he'll just do it um yeah he doesn't like anything holding him back and because I took a nap that's holding someone back right um for that instance but yeah um for for just like going around and stuff um it's how would I how would I put it this way I don't mind going around I'm just I just don't like car sickness and um I know that when I get car sick or if I feel kind of nauseous I'm terrible company um and anybody who has car sickness will know what I'm talking about you know you just I have a headache and you don't feel talkative and then it could be construed as you're a miserable person because yeah why aren't you talking you know why are you so miserable like why why aren't you happy and I'm like you know it's that kind of stuff and so um you're just being it's not like you're unhappy with life or anything like that you're just kind of quiet and yeah even like even for everybody here you know you guys are not always like super happy all the time there's times where you just kind of quiet and you just like kind of relish the quietness you know kind of like if you're lying in bed right now like this doesn't mean i'm depressed it could just be if you're just enjoying the quietness you know there's there's peacefulness in the quietness um but it's all about shit. it's all about like the way that you that you yeah it's a it's all the way that like things can come across and i am really just hold on i am really just like i don't mind being a homebody that's the other thing too so i could i could be on bed and i could be like okay you know i'm just i just have this pillow fort over here with the, pu the puffy blanket and it doesn't mean like it doesn't mean like I know some people they think like if you're lying in bed you're like wallowing in depression I'm like no, I'm not wallowing in depression I'm just warm and comfortable and usually I have an Oreo cat over here so I'm just like oh life is life is you know life is simple and life is sweet and um yeah but it's it's all about like perception right um 
Yeah, yeah. See, so anonymous individual says, if I'm being quiet, it means you're deep in thought. Yeah, you could just be like, man, you know, you just have all these thoughts in your head. But it, not, it might not be depressing thoughts. It could just be like, ah, I, I savor the moment kind of thing. Um, yeah. Dramamine. I have tried Dramamine, um, but I haven't tried it for, like, long instances. But I know that, like, freaking garlic slices doesn't work 100% for me. You know, like, I, I remember when, oh my god, that freaking Greyhound, I would not recommend a Greyhound. <laughs> If anybody, if anybody takes a Greyhound, remember, please do not sit four rolls within the toilet. So, you know, the toilet's all the way in the back. Don't sit within the, like, I would say four rolls because you can smell the smell of urine. Oh, it's just freaking terrible. And it's not a, it's not a soft scent. It's a really strong scent of urine. So that feels, of, that that's like nauseous right there, right? And then if you're car sick and then you go over all those bumps and everything, you're like, oh, God. Uh, and I know some people will listen listen to this and be like Erica you're so bougie you're so high maintenance I'm like you don't understand if you sit it depends like it depends on your car sickness like I have no problem going on a plane no problem okay um except maybe to Hawaii because that's like a 11 hour and 30 hour flight and yeah leg room is a little a little small even for someone like 5'4 like me but um yeah so, um, yeah, so this is, this is what I'm doing for my arm. Um, I'm just actually, I'm actually trying not to cover it, or if I do, I put a, um, I put a, um, I just wear a long sleeve, so I'll wear, like, a t-shirt, and then over it, I'll put, like, a 100% long sleeve t-shirt, I mean, a long sleeve, um, like, you know those, like, open blouse kind of things? I don't know what you call it. You know, uh, like, a, like a flannel shirt? You know, like those open flannel shirts that you can wear, a, like, a tank top underneath? Those things? Like, kind of like Kurt Cobain. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm talking about? Those things? Yeah, so that seems to work pretty well, but it has to be 100% cotton because I find out that, yeah, if I don't wear 100% cotton, then my skin starts flaring. So that's why you start seeing me in t-shirts, um, linen, just freaking comfortable ass fabrics because synthetics are right now are just flaring me up so yeah um and like something like 80 percent 80 percent um cotton and then 20 percent synthetic it 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 does not jive with me too well sometimes it's weird it's weird so yeah i i never realized like how much how much i value having like pure cotton clothing um and it's strange because i never thought like polyester because polyester synthetic, right? It feels so smooth or it feels like softer than cotton. But yeah, it just it just flares me up. And yeah, Nick had Nick had noticed like, yeah, when I was wearing that jacket, I was starting to break out around my neck. Um, and I was breaking on my arm and that's where the that's where my jacket was touching my arm and I was like, Oh And sure enough, he was right. So that that's um great detective work because I never thought I never thought it's like I would break out due to my own freaking jacket. So, yeah. Um, if I do wear a jacket, I w I do layer now. So I have like that long sleeve over, and then um, yeah. If you guys any if you guys see the driving streams, you'll you'll notice like I'm starting to wear like long sleeves and stuff. But there's a shirt underneath, so it's like cotton on top of cotton, and I can put a synthetic over it. But I have a barrier of cotton. Um, in front. So if anybody has eczema or skin issues, and you are wearing synthetics. You are probably shooting yourself in the foot. You, you, as, as dowdy as it sounds, like you really should go with like cotton um, or linen. I haven't tried silk yet because I'm just been, I'm impulsively thinking like, okay, I'm always gonna go over to cotton um, for now. But when my when my um, skin is calmer and things, and I can go back to a synthetic, I'm gonna be pretty happy about it because I miss wearing other styles of clothing besides 100% cotton. <laughs> um, I miss, I, yeah, and so much of my clothes are since freaking synthetics. Like, I look through my clothes and I'm like, synthetic, 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 synthetic. No, like, not pure. Or, like, wool. Wool is not good for my skin either right now. So, okay, I can't turn, I can't wear wool. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, if, yeah. I, I've been looking on the eczema boards, you know, for Reddit, our eczema. And, oh my goodness, I see some people, it's like they have something similar to me on their, on their body. 
and you see some graphic images you'll see some people be like they're just scratching it and they have these graphic pictures of it's bleeding and i'm like oh and because you know i've had something like that right on my body it's like i know how itchy it is i know how, how psychologically damaging it is so for people like that it's like you can't just scratch it and not do anything you have to figure out like what's going on in my opinion right what's going on in your diet what's going on you know what are you eating and if you're going low carb right it's like i worry like there's people out there who could be having like eczema issues or what they perceive to be eczema issues and their issue is is that they're just going way too low carb or they're not getting vitamin d um or they're not supplementing maybe with like something like zinc or i don't know what it is but um i really think it's like the main three would be either the vitamin d the zinc and the carbs that would that was the greatest three changes i made um for my skin and yeah carbs i know carbs right the studies they say that yeah you increase your carb intake the keto rush goes away but it's not overnight um it's been a couple of days i don't know when i start i have to look back at my community post but um every day it's getting a little better and um this kind of thing with my arm it took a little longer because it's a hyperpigmentation mark so um, i hope it doesn't scar i don't think it's going to scar but if it does you know yeah, i think it's just going to be temporary um yeah yeah um so it's not a hundred percent but at least the redness is going away and that tells me it's a step in the right direction i still have some bumps um so probably in about what i said like the seventh or so i'll keep a track of my arm um, I'll, I'll gauge if it's getting better. If it's getting better, then I'm not going to go to a dermatologist. But if I feel like the bumps aren't resolving itself by the 7th, then I'll look into getting a dermatologist. Because I'll be like, what what's going on here? You know, this, this, this stuff. I don't want just like non-color bumps. I actually want the bumps to go away. Um, yeah, third week of keto and eczema might just be a correlation. Uh, yeah, yeah so um but yeah I'm not, I'm not stopping the vitamin d i'm not stopping the zinc and i'm not stopping uh, moisturizing with this cream and carb intake yeah um yeah so yeah i know i'm allergic just freaking look at this i have freaking cat hair everywhere and i want to blame clinton or barry but unfortunately it's all white cat hair around me this is all white cat hair and you gotta think like which cat sleeps right around here who is who has white fur i give you a hint it's it's it's, it's mr tubby it's mr tubby so mr tubby makes it makes it absolutely um impossible to avoid the cat fur because he's because he he'll 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 like nuzzle over here and he just like he he gets all in your business like he'll put his face right here and things like that like, oreo oreo you know social distance social distance um yeah we comb the cats but it's like the cats are like 24 7 like they're just shedding fur all over the place especially when you have oreo rolling around like a freaking you know a tubby cat around the bed and he's just spreading his fur all around and after you know usually he sleeps on the bed um when he's napping so yeah he sleeps on my side of the bed he sleeps on that side lewis's side of the bed it's just yeah oreo or just spreading his uh, fur around and um, I also realized, right, because I've been checking my my um, neck over here, um, Oreo scratched me last year. <laughs> Oreo scratched me last year, and it left, you know, he had a pretty deep scratch. I don't know if you guys remember that. It actually scarred. Yeah, so I put on Neosporin, and I thought it didn't scar, but it actually did scar. I actually scarred very, very easily, so I have, like, about a... Like a scratch this big parallel to my chest like here and it's hard to see like i never noticed that um but yeah i was i looked at it i was like damn it erica you got a freaking light scar on your chest but um i just think like yeah i have a a way to remember oreo you know even when he passes um and uh yeah yeah i have a so yeah if i i thought you guys will ever see it but if you guys ever see like a freaking three inch scar on my neck <laughs> On my chest and it's like it's almost like kind of like a straight line yeah it's it's because freaking oreo scratched me i think i was i i forgot what i was doing but i think i was either walking him i think i was walking him on his harness or something like that but he scratched he scratched my neck because he was pissed off um so yeah um but thankfully you can't really see it it's very very hard to see um it happened sometime last year so for me to just notice it 
yesterday that tells me that um Okay, I didn't expect this to be such a lot of conversation. Yeah, so you guys can hear it's one of those. I know. I know everyone's listening. talking to someone because we live in a uh, because we live in a studio right like the sound travels that's the problem um Do I talk that loud? I don't think I talk that loud. Yeah, so like one example, the Dewey machine uses a new charging chip. And the Intersil has not, is not allowed to sell it to anybody but Apple. Apple's and refusing that. Oh, it has a chip in there. Without a chip. Just for one little thing. It's on the phone. Yeah, this is about 20 feet away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. No, no, I don't want to hear them on speaker. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, it's not the service. It's um. So I I hear I hear things like um. I hear things. It's like 20 feet away. It's just... He's in the bathroom. He's near the bathroom, you guys. It's like quite a distance away. How long this lasts? No. <laughs>
Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, this, this is conversation. Yeah, this is conversation. So that's why um, I have to be mindful about my volume because if I'm, if I'm talking and he's talking to someone too, right? This is, this is the kind of stuff that happens. So um, I will uh, talk to you later because I, oh gosh, it's getting louder. I, I'll talk to you guys later. And um, I hope you got like a little sneak pack over here. And uh, yeah, I shall talk to you guys. It's getting louder. See ya.